welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today because we are launching another collab with the Glam Bell. Her Beauty and the Beach palette was such a hit. You all loved it so much and honestly, I'm obsessed with it as well because, I mean, look at these colors. So we decided to do another collab and bring you a little bit more. So of course, there is a palette. This is the Glam Bell Everyday Slay palette. And this palette is just providing you with all of the pigments you need for a good everyday slay look. But you can also bring it from day to night. But you can see there's a lot less vibrant colors and a lot more neutrals. Um, and I feel like these are shades that you can use every day. He also put together a gorgeous lash. They're an amazing everyday lash and they just are so natural, so perfect, and so comfortable to wear. But you can also amp them up a little bit for a night look as well. So I'm going to show you guys how I did it in this tutorial. And last but not least, we did create a lip gloss. And this is called Faithful and it's a full pigment pink gloss. So I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite looks with this palette, so let's just go ahead and get right into the tutorial. Okay, so I already have my foundation done, but I'm going to go ahead and prep my lips with the Lady Code Lip Plumping Oil. My favorite shade is clear, but I'm just going to go ahead and put this on my lips and get it started. So you can see the magic happening almost immediately. I feel like I don't need to use lip plumper because I have so much filler in there, but I do enjoy a little bit of smoothing and I feel like this does smooth out the wrinkles in your lips to give it a more luxurious look and I feel like it makes me look a little bit younger. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into this beautiful palette that Brandy and I created. I am just obsessed with this palette. It's pink it's like my signature color and this time we went with the theme of everyday slay so it's just creating those everyday looks you can see here it is so stunning this one has nine shimmers and nine mattes and they're mostly neutral colors but she did sneak in some of these fun colors so you can still have a little bit of fun and get creative my inspiration today is the look that I did on Brandy for her campaign shoot where she's laying in the flower field and I thought it was so pretty so I'm going to go ahead and start with this shade called Free, and I'm going to put it all over the eyelid. Of course, as always, all Lady Code products have a mirror, so I love that there's a mirror and I can just look right in and check on myself. Even if I'm on the go or traveling, I just feel like a mirror on the palette is like super important. Okay, so come through pigment. That was so fast. If there's anything about my brand that I'm picky about, it would be good pigmentation. Putting the shade in the middle of my lid, kind of pulling it up, and then bringing it into the inner corner. Okay, all of these shimmers are really catching my eye right now. I love this shade, Blessed. So let's throw a little bit of pink in there. I'm gonna layer it on top just because I need to get this color on my lids as well. Okay, so I did put a little bit of that pink shimmer shade called Blessed over the lighter shade and I feel like mixing it together makes like a really pretty 3d rose gold situation that I'm living for okay so with brandy we were like hey why don't we bring back like a little bit of a halo eye with a modern lady code twist to it so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a halo situation bringing in this um, favored shimmer color right here I'm using a little bit of a smaller brush and I'm gonna sneak it into the inner corner of my lid so nothing crazy, just a little bit of shade, and I feel like this will make your eyes look a little bit bigger, a little more open. I'm going to go back to my bigger brush, going into the shade called Favored, and I'm going to put this on the outer corner. Also, this Favored shade would be so pretty, just all over the lid and blend it out for like a really nice gunmetal smoky look. I think I'm going to do that next. Okay, so I kind of tapped the pigment off and now I'm going to blend it in. Okay, the shimmer work is done. So now we're going to go into the mattes and I'm going to go ahead and bake a little bit under my eyes with the Resting Bake Face Translucent Powder so that any fallout won't ruin my makeup because I already have my skin done. Okay, so to kind of soften up the crease, blend out the shimmers, I am going into the shade called Content which could also be content because we're both influencers, but we're going to go with Content and put this kind of just along this edge here pushing up against my bone here you know how you have that hollow area and there's that bone I push up against that bone and I call that my crease instead of where that actual like eyelid wrinkle is okay I love this shade it's a really good like neutral color so I'm gonna go ahead and smoke out my lower lash line with this shade as well 
Yeah, this shade is everything. Okay, I love that shade. I could honestly stop here, put on some liner and lashes, and call it like an everyday look, but I'm going full glam today because I already started a YouTube video, so we're gonna do the most. I'm gonna go ahead and move into Loved over here. It's a little bit darker, it's still a matte, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go tighter into the crease and um, smoke out the outer corners a little bit more. And we're just building. Okay, so I'm using this teeny tiny brush here, and I'm gonna go into powerful and just kind of add a little more smoke to the inner and outer corners of my eyelids and also the outer corner of my lower lash line. So I'm starting with the outer corner of the lower lash line, just kind of bringing that smoke out. This is such a signature old school lady code look. I feel like we do this all the time on this channel, but listen, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Like, I love it. Okay, so now we're doing the top outer corner and I'm kind of starting a lifted wing situation. So I'm bringing it out like that. What do we think? It is so old school lady code. I'm here for it. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of darkening on the inner eyelid corner. Okay, I'm going back to this medium size brush, going into powerful, just taking like a drop of pigment and going up and over just to blend it into the crease a little bit. So it's like a V shape like that. I just realized my spray tan is crazy. Okay, so this kind of softens up the lines a little bit. Okay, first of all, can we have a moment for this lip plumper? It's crazy. My lips, I look like a Brad doll. I love it. You guys might hate me for it, but I love everything it's doing. And once I put on the lip gloss, it's going to look so good. Okay, so I'm just going to blend a little bit more of the eyeshadow. So we're going to go back to content or content and just kind of like brush it over everything that we just did on the eyelid. And I'm just unloading the pigment here. Once I feel like there's nothing left on the brush, I'm gonna pull it out and up just for insurance so that we know it's perfectly blended. This is a really good shade for nose contour, so I'm just gonna take a little bit and bring that shade into my nose and just like reinforce and define that nose contour. Okay, this is my favorite part of glam. We're just gonna brush off all of that bake. I feel like this is when the whole look comes together. So before we put on lashes, I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeliner. Um, I still love this Araceli Beauty liquid eyeliner. It's really the best, it lasts all day. I buy like five of them at a time because I love it so much. So I'm just gonna do like a really thin line and then I'll bring it up into a thicker wing. The lower lash line, I'm adding a little bit of brown eyeliner. I love this NYX um, retractable pencil because it is retractable and I hate sharpening pencils. I just don't have the time for that. So here we are. I'm just kind of like tapping it on. I'm not really doing like a full waterline. Just like adding a little bit of pigment in between the lashes. Okay, so I just did my top and bottom lashes off camera. I used Miss Controversy, the telescopic lift mascara, and I love it because it does work amazing. I'm going to go ahead and put on the graced lashes that the Glam Bell created with Lady Code. These are a close-up of the lashes, so they're really short, but they're curly, so it gives you a really nice everyday look. They're absolutely stunning. She did such a great job designing these. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the Black Lady Code Lash Adhesive. It's my absolute favorite because sometimes when the clear glue dries, it gets a little bit like, I hate this word, but like crusty looking. So with the black, it just looks fierce and snatched and expensive. So, you know, once you have experience putting on lashes, try the black lash glue. It makes a huge difference. So to put on your lashes without damaging them, go ahead and pull this tab right here, get the lash tray out, and then you're going to fold the lash tray back like this. And that's going to make the lash pop out with your fingers, not tweezers. Gently pull the lash off the tray. And there you have it. I just applied the lash glue to the top of the lash band and I like to put on my lashes with my eyes open so I take a palette or take a mirror look down like this and you like your eyes are almost closed but you're looking down and you can literally see everything and just lay those lashes along your lash line and this glue is so good like once you stick it on it's on like that's it it's that easy 
So I wanted to zoom you guys in so you could see the lashes a little bit. It's so curly, like it's shorter, but the curl like really opens up the eye. It gives you that glam look, but it's not weighing down anything on your eyes. It has a really nice curl. So even from the profile, you can see that your eyes look wide open. It makes them really, really pop. So I'm obsessed. This is definitely my everyday lash. Okay, so since today I'm getting ready for a night event, I'm gonna put a coat of mascara over the lashes just a little bit, um, just to make them pop a little bit more. I love this for every day, but with cameras and being at night, I just wanna give it a little bit more of a pop. Okay, so that's after putting on mascara over the lashes, and you see it just gives it a little bit more, um, but not too much. So I think I'd rather have this, like a little lash with mascara, than putting on like a big lash, because again, I don't want my eyes to look heavy in pictures. I don't want them to feel heavy on me, so. This is the way to go. It's kind of like my new favorite thing to do, even on my makeup clients. Okay, so last but not least, we're going into the Glam Bell by Lady Code Gloss, and this shade is called Faithful. It is so pretty. I just wanna like, we took so much time on this packaging, so I had to show it off. There she is right there, so pretty. I'm using my absolute favorite lip liner. It's Paris. But um, Brandy likes to use Tokyo to line her lips with this gloss. Honestly, it depends on how you want it. If you want a more pink look, you can use the Barcelona liner with it. If you want a more nude look, use Tokyo like Brandy does. I just want like a contoured look, so this is like a really nice mauve color, so I'm using the Paris lip liner. Okay, and now we're going into the gloss. It's just like a really pretty everyday pink nude. I feel like it matches my hoodie kind of, so gonna put this in the middle and then bring it out into the liner I love a good full coverage gloss like this I feel like it's just so pigmented it's basically like a lipstick but it's so hydrating and it feels so good on your lips so this is the final look I hope you guys love this glam Bell collection I love all of the products so much and of course a PSA the lip plumping oil is also back in stock in all of the shades I hope they're still in stock by the time this video goes live because last time they did sell out in like a day but um, enjoy everything. I'm so excited to work with Glam Bell again and share this amazing collection with you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.